With all the complexity of electrical circuits and the myriad components that we can put into them, it turns out there are certain types of connections about which we can generalize. If components connected in certain ways behave in a predictable fashion, we can use that fact to simplify our analysis of electrical circuits. Today we'll talk about two of those types of connections, series and parallel. Series and parallel connections are at the same time a simple concept, yet sometimes confusing. I've been teaching this stuff for a number of years and found these concepts a source of many errors for students learning circuit analysis. So let's see if we can come up with some definitions and some techniques that will make it less likely for us to make errors. Let's start with series connections. A series connection occurs when two terminal components are connected so that they share a node and they have the same exact current going through them. I do not mean they have the same amount of current, but I mean the actual electrons pass from one component to the next. We might write the definition as Components are in series if they share one node and have the same current going through them. Let's start with two components, resistors to be specific. If I connect these two resistors so that they share a node, and if a current, IN, enters this pair of resistors, we can see that by Kirchhoff's current law, that current has to pass through the wire that connects them and come out the other end. Since they are connected so that they share a node and have the same current going through them, they are in series. The same would be true if I increased that to three resistors. Each pair of resistors shares a node, and if current enters the combination, it has to leave the combination. That means these three resistors are in series. I think you can see no matter how many resistors I connect in this fashion, they would all be in series. They all share a single node between each pair, and current that enters the combination leaves the combination. I think some of the confusion or misapplication occurs when synonyms are introduced into the definition. For example, series does not mean in a line. If we look at this arrangement of resistors, we see each pair of resistors shares a node. If current enters through the bottom resistor, it will pass through the wire that connects it to the next resistor, through that resistor to the next wire, and out the top resistor. That means these three resistors are in series, even though they are not in a line. Here's an example of resistors connected so that they share one node. However, these resistors are not in series. Because if current enters the left-hand resistor, some of it will go down through the bottom resistor and some will go through the right-hand resistor. This means the currents through the resistors are not equal, so there are no series connections in this arrangement. Let's move on to parallel connections. Components are in parallel if they share two nodes and have the same voltage across them. Now this is a little bit redundant because a voltage is a difference in potential between two points or nodes. So if components share two nodes, they necessarily have the same voltage across them. Continuing, if we take two resistors and connect them so that they share two nodes, each of these components will have the same voltage across them. That means these resistors are in parallel. If we increase the number of resistors between these nodes to three, since there are still only two nodes, we still have one voltage. That means all three of these resistors share two nodes and have the same voltage across them, so all three resistors are in parallel. When components are side by side, this is very easy to see. However, I think the same thing happens with language here when people substitute the phrase side by side for share two nodes. For example, these two resistors, though they are not side by side, still share two nodes. Since there are only two nodes in the circuit, there is still only one voltage, so these components are in parallel. To look at a negative example, here we see three resistors connected to each other. Each of the resistors on the right are in a position that we called parallel to the resistor on the left in the previous examples. Two of those resistors also appear to be side by side, but when we mark the nodes, we see there are three separate nodes in this circuit. If there are three nodes, we have voltages between all three of them, so we have three separate voltages in this circuit. So that in this circuit, there are no individual components in parallel. This whole series parallel thing, by the way, is why I started encouraging students to highlight the nodes. I cannot recall a single time when somebody correctly outlined the nodes and then went on to make a series or parallel mistake. I hope this clearly defines series and parallel and the differences between them. Components are in series if they share one node and have the same current going through them. Components are in parallel if they share two nodes 
and have the same voltage across them. Next time we'll look at series and parallel resistors and see how this can help us to simplify circuits. Till next time, go out and make it a great one.